that was just rolling. Right. Nice. Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story, and today I'm with Jim Wilgus. We're in the western suburbs of Chicago, and we've got a great Chevy car for you today. Jim, what year make and model is this one? 1970 Monte Carlo Supersport. And the engine on this one? 454 Big Block. 454 Big Block. <laughs> you don't see these too often. Now, first of all, how long have you had it? About three months. Three months. So congratulations on the new car. Why this Thank one you. out of all the cars in the world? I bought it from a friend. I knew where it was coming from, and uh, and he took care of it for 21 years. Let's take a look at the car that he took care of. Stand right alongside me. So this one, I'm starting from the side because the sun's hitting it just right. And what is this color? Autumn gold? Autumn gold with gold interior. And as you can see, it's October, so we've got kind of all of the leaves changing on us right now, which is perfect, because we're in, well, autumn. <laughs> no doubt. So we've got the rally wheels here right. on the car. This is an all-matching numbers car. The SS454, so unique, just that little baby badge. And if you notice, the SS is kind of pushed a little farther forward than the 454 there, if we catch that angle just right. We've got the mirrors here. This is actually a very unique option, the fender turn signal lamps. And I'll show it to you from the front, like so. And while we're up here, Jim, let's open it, shall we? Let's open the hood for them. Sure. And show them what we've got, kind of these bullseye-like parking lamps you have here the great grill by the way great shirt monte carlo drive-in nice yeah, she told me to yeah wear that wear yeah. that one got lots of horns here we'll have to make sure we beep that so we've got the horns not working right now okay right we, now. we won't it's beep that the 454 360 horsepower and there's our trim tag there as you can see like so we've got air conditioning the chrome valve covers your air conditioning with your tin can there really a lot of room under here. It was a time where even though you've got this air conditioner, you still kind of could move around. A little bit challenging on these front plugs, but other than that, really, really nice. And this big, long fan shroud, since the engine is pushed back. And if you notice, the engine's behind the front axle, so I'm sure it probably handles pretty well. It drives like a dream. That is great. It drives, I take my hands off the wheel, doing 50 really and it goes straight. straight as an arrow right exactly. that's beautiful well let's do this let's for, for the moment let's start it up while I'm right here we'll let it idle and then we'll give it a little rev or two and then we'll shut it down and we'll take a look at the trunk and treats and we have some for you and we'll look at the interior there's your firing order I see what a nice car sporty and luxurious in one package Okie dokie. the exhaust just let it idle for a second All right. we get dual exhaust thought it's out of my heard there we go oh that's a sweet sound Jim go ahead give it a rev Fire breathing dragging and then up. Can you step on the brakes for one moment? Those little slits like that. Okay. Alright, we'll shut that down. 
our Monte Carlo script. Let's go to the truck, shall we? Sure. So I turned it around and put the back in the sun so that you could see that. There's some interesting pieces in the back. Number one is the gas behind the plate. Yes. So we've got the gas behind the plate. We have our Monte Carlo script by Chevrolet. You've got this beautiful color, but I want to show you something back here, which I'll get to. That piece right there is, I believe, so you can see in the rear view mirror, to see if your tail lights or brake lights are working. You notice we've got the square speaker, the rear window defogger, which is rare, and now you have more of an oval speaker, if you look at those. Let's take a look. We've got some trunk and treats for them, shall we? Mm -hmm. We have the bumperettes, too, by the way. That's an option. The back of the car, you can see it's a little windy here. But we have our Monte Carlo owner's manual. Going through some details there. We have, look how clean this trunk is. Jim, how would you feel about that when you open this trunk for the first time? Oh, really good. Yeah, that's a good feel right there. And even the, the, the spare tire, he painted. Is that right? This is Monte Carlo by Chevrolet. That's funny. This is a group picture of all the cars in Monte Carlo's field. <laughs> and he, he gave me from the body shop Yes. a can of uh, paint that matches. Oh, that's nice. Uh-huh. And then you can read some of the details here. The amount you don't have to spend may stagger you. So the, the Monte Carlo was really kind of in a class by itself. It was the uh, first year for the Monte Carlo, and yet at the same time, it was a, a sports luxury car. So it wasn't, you know, your big Cadillac, which would have been a luxury car. It was the great pictures showing some of the option, the wheel covers, 8-track. We have a different interior in this car. I'll just show you the electric trunk release. These are some of the features of the car. Rally wheels, we have the center console. That's great stuff. Here's the power teams. Notice we've got the big engine, the 360 horsepower 454 V8. Notice it says, for Monte Carlo SS only. So that's just this car. As you can see. And then we've got the boxes powered on this one. Are you prepared to sacrifice all of this for an expensive car? Which is great. Jim, may I, uh, may I open it? Yes, you may. Thank you. No problem. The Monte Carlo script, the vinyl top. We'll close that trunk. We've got it in the sun for you so you can see the different autumn gold matching the car there. You're greeted to the body by Fisher. In the back of this seat, it has the push button so it'll open up. Again, I'll feature. Notice that piece right there. There's a nice hood liner too. There's a lighting carpeting. Yeah, and the hood liner is wonderful. We've got the power disc, the washer fluid. Notice we've got this might have been one of the first times where you actually have the vent that allows you to close it. That oh, yeah? that usually wasn't uh, an option. It, you know, it's just usually you have a vent there. Right. We got a up, little upgrade to the radio, fuel, temp. And an optional steering wheel, I believe. Okay, this is an optional steering wheel. It looks looks like we've got tilt too. Would that right. be accurate? Yep. Let me just show the overall instrumentation there. Clearly, we've got this really nice console up the center. There's your slap stick, as you could see. And as you see on the other side, we've got the glove box combined with multiple vents, one below it, one to the side, and your mirror. Really looks good. Jim, the only thing left we gotta do is we gotta take this one for a ride. Sure, definitely. So Jim and I are in the 70 Monte Carlo SS 454, the big option for this year. 
And you've only had it three months, but how does it feel compared to other cars you've had? Oh, it drives like a dream, <laughs> and it hasn't broken down. I buy other cars <laughs> and they break down. What's the kind of cars you had that were breaking down? 70 Super Sport Chevelles. All Chevelles. <laughs> yeah, three of them. Three of them. And I knew That's where hysterical. this was coming from. What's that? The, the oh, car, the car. Right, I knew right, right. For 20, uh, 52 years. Wow. And he owned it 21 years. Wow. He's a member of his family. Uh, I had to buy it. Yeah, well, you, look at where we're driving out to show people. You could say this is an early free uh, hands-free car compared to the new ones that they make now. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the early hands-free. Wow, that is really something else. So how long was the decision to buy this one? I mean, did you was it sight you're just gonna buy it or did you know I needed I thought about it? I thought about it last year. Yeah. And he didn't really want to get rid of it. Okay. And then last year he didn't want to get rid of it. Yeah. And then this year, kind of talk him into it. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows it's going to a good home. Okay, that's true. All right. I Fair washed enough. and waxed it already. I mean. All right. The, the vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. And I, what I love about it is I know where it's coming. Who had it? Yeah. And he told me the story. He bought it off of his buddy. So you had all the history behind you. Right, exactly. Yeah, that, that is a, a, a good tip right there. Is it's good to get the, the history and the knowledge of where the cars are coming from. It's got a nice sound. You know, right. it's, it's, it's throaty, but yet it's quiet. Right, exactly. You know? You know, so it, it's still got that luxury sport cruiser. And that's really what the Monte Carlo kind of was all about. They were coming out with, they had the Camaro, and uh, they decided, Chevelles. yeah, the Chevelles, the Novas. But right. uh, they wanted to do something that was a little more sporty and a little more elegant. Sport and luxury. Yeah, sport and luxury. Right. Definitely. Yeah, beautiful. I love it. I, it's great. I don't really want to put it in a storage, <laughs> but but winter out here with drifts. Yeah, no, yeah, you can't do it in the Midwest. I have a storage already. Yeah. And the guy's going to put me all the way in the far corner. Okay. That's a so, safe spot. But I could, my girlfriend will put hers on the drive if I want to keep both of my Yeah. Well, it's not to her. Yeah, no, I get it. That's the right thing to do. Right. It's nice little twisty road work. How's it handling the twists? Good. I didn't check, but does it have like a sway bar or anything? Does it have some suspension? Uh, I don't know. I, his uh, nephew was a mechanic. He, uh, I see the rear one. Yeah. He said there is a front one too. Oh, okay. Most uh, sway bars. This one handles pretty good through this. Acceleration when needed. Good to know. It's got the original quadra jet. Uh, transmission. Carburetor. Oh, carburetor. Oh, really? Yeah, original uh, transmission turbo 400. Everything original. Right. Everything original. Well, we're going to continue on this drive. What a fun time. Jim, what a treat to be able to share your car with the Globe. I'm interested to see what the reaction is. Thank you. Autumn gold on a wonderful autumn day. Thanks Definitely. so much for being on my car story. Oh, uh, you're very welcome, and thanks for filming me. I appreciate it too. Thank you. You're welcome.